So I guess this video is more or less to talk about um, the future of Lapis Lazuli. Like, where does her character... Where, her, where do I think her character might be going, and what might happen next? So, as most of you guys have seen already, the, um, the revealed clips for... Um, uh, for, for the next Steven, you know, for the next few episodes of Steven Universe, we see that Lapis is is unfused from Malachite, and yeah, unfused from Jasper. No longer is she part of uh, the Malachite fusion, and is her own form. However, from that one clip where we saw her rescuing Peridot and Steven, doesn't look like she's her regular self. Now, as I've said time and time again, I can kind of understand where she's uh, where they're going with this character because at first when we, uh, when you gotta understand that she's been trapped in a mirror for thousands of years. She's been trapped in there, no one to talk to until Steven came along, and even then she couldn't even use her voice. Then, following that, she, you know, her gem was cracked and she wanted, just wanted to go back to Homeworld and needed Steven's help to return uh, to that place. And when she did, she found that Homeworld was no longer the way she thought it was prompting her to, you know, send a message back to Steven saying, hey, the gem, you know, homeworld's coming, and then she was forced by her own people to go back to Earth, and um, she was more or less treated like shit for the most part of it, and following that, she had to fuse with Jasper to save the only friend she had left. And now that she's unfused from that, you can kind of see that she's not exactly the most met. She's not the most. Me she's not the best place mentally right now. She's not at the best place at a mental state. Now it's kind of funny because a lot of fans thought that, oh yeah, when Lapis comes back, she'll be all happy and cheery. And here I was thinking, no, no, she won't be, <laughs> because quintessentially, all of her life ever, you know, even before she got, uh, you know. Ever since she got out of that mirror, which, by the way, she'd been locked in for thousands of years, and the gems knew she was in there. You know, the crystal gems knew she was in there. Let's let's not forget that little uh, tidbit of information there. But the fact that, you know, ever since she got out of there, it's been nothing but one, you know... Um, it's been one tr uh, one failure after another. It's one expectation lost after another. You know, she just wanted to go back home. Homeworld is now so radically different. The very gems she wanted to help were, have now... Um, well, excuse me, the, the gems she thought she would be friends with, you know, back on Homeworld, they quintessentially turned against her, locked her up, and then she was forced to fuse with a hostile, warlike gem for, for nearly a year, <laughs> more or less, trapped at the bottom of the ocean at this mental war back and forth. You don't just bounce back from that, ladies and gentlemen. You just do not bounce back from that kind of mental um, state. So, I was kind of like, when everyone else was like, yeah, oh boy, Lapis is going to come back, she's going to be so happy, it's going to be awesome, and to which I respond with, yeah, that's that's not going to happen. She quintessentially has PTSD, guys. She is a victim of war, more or less. She is, you know, just traumatized, and she's now closed herself. There may have been a point in time where Lapis was a very free-spirited character, but now she's become, you know, she's become this. She's been quintessentially broken mentally. Not physically, you know, she's had her gem cracked physically, but now her mind is cracked, more or less. She's more or less just this wall. She's more or less going to be like, I guess you could say almost like the Wolverine of the group, <laughs> if she decides to stay. That's the other big thing you gotta look at here, is that, um... Lapis may not want to stay. That's the big thing here is that we don't, you know, oh, we, you know, we saw Lapis in that one episode. I mean, excuse me, that one clip. But that doesn't mean Lapis is, may stay. Who knows? Maybe she'll try to go back to Homeworld or try to leave to another star system or just mo go around Earth. Maybe she'll just leave them all behind. That could be easily the case just as well, is that she could be like, look, I don't want to be around people. I don't trust half of you people. So I'm going to go my own way. Peace. So that would more or less be her, you know, that may be may as well be her uh, point of view, is that she may not want to stay with the other gems. That could be another big factor. Even if Steven's her only friend, and to a ex lesser extent, Peridot, we don't know exactly how she's going to be um, treating Peridot quintessentially. We don't know how that's going to all uh, play out. I know a lot of the Lapidot shippers, myself included, <laughs> 
are like, please stay, but that could easily... I would be okay if, you know, she left for a while, you know, if she left for a short period of time um, just to find herself again. Because, yeah, because, yeah, every time she's been around other people or gems hasn't really turned out well for her. We don't even know what happened in the war that led to her being trapped in the mirror. That's the other big thing, is that, you know, these mental scars that she's had could have been around even before she was a... she was trapped in the mirror. So, that's the other big thing, is that um, she could be just mentally... Sh this is like, you know, after defusing from Jasper, this is may have become the, you know, the tipping point that make her go, I'm done. I'm done. This is bullshit. <laughs> yeah. And you gotta, and also, you know, Lapis is probably one of the most powerful gems. <laughs> is probably what, like, she literally can control, she can literally control 75% of the Earth, of the planet Earth. You know, what's, what's, what's a majority of our world made out of? Did you guess water? Is, it was water your guess? Yeah, that's, that's all her, you know. Anything liquid is her is hers to control, you know. Sorry, Katara, but <laughs> this is the ult Lapis Lazuli is the ultimate waterbender. Um, no offense to uh, to Avatar fans, but yeah, let's let's be honest here. Lapis versus Katara. I'm already gonna tell. I'm already tell you which horse I'm backing in that fight. Anyway, that, I'm getting off topic. But that's the... Yeah, so... There are so many ways you could do this. And the other thing is, we don't know what's going on with Jasper. We don't know what's going to happen with um, Jasper, quintessentially. We don't know um, if she's going to join the gems as well, or is something else going to happen to her? Is she just going to be locked up for a while? Or did she escape? We don't... Um, we don't know yet. Um, so who knows? Hopefully, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, Lapis stays. I'm hoping that Lapis... Um, stays with the crystal gems. I'd be I'd be I'd be really happy with that. You know, more gems the merrier. So, and you know, hanging out with per you know, Lapis and Perry hanging out. Holla. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, um I'd e I'd be okay if her story said if her, if she quintessentially said, quintessentially said to Steven and Peridot and the other gems is like, "Look, I've been around too I've been around people too long, so I need to find my own path. I need to be alone for a while just to get my head clear. So that's, um, so, this could be, a, this is going to be a very interesting story arc when Lapis finally returns. So, yeah. So you guys tell me, um, what do you think it will be, what do you think the future holds for Lapis Lazuli? Uh, just comment below, let me know. Really interested to see you guys have to say about this, because I know Lapis Lazuli's a, a huge fan favorite, and, um, there's so many different ways this could go, so really looking forward to what you guys have to say about this. Anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I'm out.